think people are alarmed to see disproportionate numbers of, of Oireachtas members who are landlords relative to the population. I think it's 48 who are landlords. It's, it's a minority, but clearly it's still a bigger proportion of the population of TDs and senators than of the normal population. I think at a time when we are seeing a housing crisis when so many people in my own constituency in Dublin Bay South and across the country are simply unable to get accommodation. I've just heard today from one constituent who's been evicted as she start, as she, her young child starts back to school, has nowhere to go. So, the, you know, this is a huge issue and clearly there's huge concern about over, I suppose, over-representation of landowners among TDs and senators. Now, I've always called for a more representative Oireachtas. You know, the fact that less than a quarter of our TDs are women itself speaks volumes about the need for a more diverse representation. We certainly should have more young people, more people of ethnic, of, of ethnic minority backgrounds and more renters represented in the Dáil and Shannon. I think and that's to what real do you concern. attribute the fact that we have so many landlords? Is there any good logical explanation for why? Well, I think that, uh, I should say also, I, I suppose, mm-hmm. Anton, an important point is that the Robert Troy affair is not specifically about property ownership because, you know, we don't also, also we don't want to dissuade people from running for election. Uh, you know, and it's, it's clearly, it's clearly anyone's entitlement to, and right to run for election. We need, as I say, a more representative uh, um, parliamentary uh, membership. Uh, the issue here in, in the Tro- Troy case and the reason for his resignation was a failure to comply with ethical standards that we had put in place precisely to guard against corruption and Labour has a strong and proud track record of really building and developing our ethical framework. So this was about breaches of ethics, not about property ownership per se and I know as you say the debate has somewhat moved on particularly because of the housing crisis Uh, but I think you know that is an important point to make all the same that it's about that. Why is it so disproportionate? I think the reality is that you know it's difficult to enter politics, it's difficult to sustain a career in politics, it's difficult as anyone who's ever dipped a toe in the waters of political Mm. life will know. It is difficult. We need to ensure there are supports available to younger people, to women, to those who are underrepresented to come into politics. But it is hard and that's why I suppose traditionally there has been not just in Ireland but elsewhere an overrepresentation of those with property because they can afford to take the time out to build a political career. That's something we need to change.